What's up everybody, this is Mr. Howard and we are playing Gone Home. Uh, this is a really great indie game that has received uh, tremendous reviews by just about everyone. Um, it started out on, on uh, Steam and it got really popular and then they ported it to PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Uh, and now it's on PS4 and I'm really excited to play it so why don't we just go ahead and jump in and learn what this game is all about. Easy enough. That's cool. We got the the old uh, cassette tape for the loading screen. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Alright, so it seems like you we play as a girl coming home from uh, a trip of some sort. 1995. Oh boy. Oh, I can hear the rain. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday, don't we? Don't be worried. Sam. Alright, well. Mm, doors locked. Do we have uh, a key? Check item. stuff. I'm just gonna check really quick and see if I can uh, lighten this up a bit. That's better. Uh, I could not see a thing. Oh yeah, that is way better. So, alright. Oh, well, that would have helped too. Um, let's see. So, anything in here? Christmas duck? Oh, there's the key. Do I need to take my. Okay. This is a little bit creepy, but I mean, I suppose it could be worse. At least I can turn the lights on. Alright, so. Definitely just gonna turn all the lights I can <laughs> on to lighten up the place a little bit. Let's see. Uh, invoice. Are they moving, maybe? Huh. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be receiving like messages from 
Sounds like her sister, maybe? This all right. Um, I like how kind of interactive everything is. Let's see if there's anything of use in the drawers. All right, so I mean, basically, it looks like we're home alone. I would, I, I, I suspect at least. Uh, got a magazine. Doesn't look like anything in particular. Alright, well, if we need something from the bathroom, we'll, we'll we know where to go. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Uh, <laughs> Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever... Uh, hung out with him is in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. That's funny. So that's like a mom. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Alright, so this is really dark. There we go. And it looks like... Oh, some more notes. Looks like this is going to be almost like a detective style game where we're going to figure out clues or something. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. So I think this may be her father. Or, hold on, let's look at the picture. Cause that kinda, no, no, it's not him. It looks similar though. Oh, we got a photo. Is she in the military maybe? Is that, is that what it is? It is dark. All right, uh, let's see if there's anything of interest in any of these places. Highlighter. So it looks like someone's trying to write a book, maybe? Oh, 
bunch of stuff about JFK. So maybe conspiracy theorist? Ooh, what's that? It's just a panel on the wall. Mm. All right. Uh oh. Okay. So looks like we're gonna have to find a combination for that. The killing of JFK. So it definitely looks like I'm assuming this was like her father's office or something. Maybe. Uh, wiring is in house is technically up to safety. It's just an inspection form. Any good books? This is going to be one of those bookcases where you pull a book and then it moves out of the way to show a secret passage. Yes, no, maybe. Alright, let's move on. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, more books. And more books. What is it, a library? Holy crap. If there's a secret passage in one of these books, I don't know if I would ever find it, but... Come on, there's gotta be something good in here. Oh, there we go. The Accidental Pariah. So this looks like his book. Huh? <laughs> That's great. It says, gosh, dad. Oh, can't take it out. Alright. That's funny. Come on, you're telling me there's all of these books here and they don't do anything? That vase looks like it could be something. Oh, oh, what's that? No, it's just the wallpaper. Got it. Uh, oh four five one. That could be a number. Alright, so that's a letter about the reviews for his book. Is there seriously nothing in the bookshelves? A stranger under my roof. Okay. It looks like one of those books where it tells parents that their kids are like terribly delinquent. <laughs> oh, door opens both ways. How fancy. Right, is there anything else over here? Oh, I thought there was someone in here. There's no one in here, right? Alright. Scared the crap out of me. I'm like, I hear voices. I have voices in this my head. The they come to me, they understand. I would play that, but I'm assuming it's copyrighted. It, it seems like this is one of those games where you have to kind of go and look around and then you'll figure out like 
at, in the last room you you visit that you need like batteries or something and then you're like oh I saw batteries in the living room I think that's how it's gonna how it's gonna go anything behind the pillows I don't really know how sneaky this game is gonna be button rat mobile okay This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports Making five inches of rain affecting the following counties: Austin County, Boone County, something? Dawn County, Tecumseh County, and Wistaria County. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake. We're worried again about having friends to spend time with. So, the dad. You know that feeling mm -hmm. where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Huh. This looks like a little story that uh, one of the girls wrote as a kid. Yeah, so it seems like Sam was having trouble making friends in high school. Probably because I think from what I got from this, this they just moved here. The and she didn't know anyone. I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't know if I can read this. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy? Tammy? Tommy? I'm at the back behind you if you get this right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. Yes, I'm new. What's up? I thought so since... I thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. So I thought I'd ask someone if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes, no. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just... Was it just you? Your uncle who went psycho? Or is it running the family? Ah. So... Oh! So that picture that we saw... That's creepy. So this picture we saw... Ah, that's her uncle. I suppose, right? Is that... Alright. So, apparently, her uncle went crazy? Maybe that's why they had to move? I don't know. We're slowly putting pieces together here. Right. Oh, we got another door. Another library of sorts. Anything particular? I I feel like this is either a really scary horror game that we haven't figured out yet, or it's gonna be like really nice and. Or, or sad, but it's gonna be like a real serious game. <laughs> what is this, a biology test? To talk about the menstrual cycle, that's... And it looks like she wrote a story about going to war. Like a fantasy story. <laughs> I'm liking this this girl. I have to say this is a pretty big house. I would play music, but 
Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Can I pour? Can I pour some? No. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-ups. So her father didn't um, have any success, or have success with his books maybe after? Anything in here? More books. So, keep exploring. Please tell Mom and Dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. What's missing and why is it missing? That's what I want to know. You know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the Psycho House. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Alright. Front hall. So it definitely looks like they just moved in here. Looks like her mom is like a forest ranger or something along those lines. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can go over here first before we go upstairs. Anything? Do the books do anything? It's a Bible. We don't need a Bible. Alright. Uh, open up everything, I suppose. Um, and also, just like any game with a lot of, like, reading notes and stuff, uh, if any of you guys want to read them, just feel free to pause the video and you know, take a look. That seems a little... Alright. <laughs> that seems a little, a little bit uh, noisy for a door handle. Alright, so we need... Turn that lamp on. Is there anything up here worth... Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Yep, so it looks like her mom's like a forest ranger and her dad is maybe a writer. I don't know if he um, is a successful author or not. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. You're gonna like this one. Alright. So, for Sam. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. 
But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so cool, cool, cool. We're so cool, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, too. Cool, come on. This is so nice. <laughs> Let's uh, just leave it there for now. Did uh, I didn't get anything new, right? All right. Yeah, I mean, I would play these, but I don't know how how long of a how many how long I can play them without getting like a copyright thing or not. So, looks like we have some Chung Li cheats for Street Fighter. And you just left the TV on. That's cool, I suppose. Super Sprite? Okay. Journey of Crystal. I don't know if any of these are real games or not, but. That's funny. Alright, so we need to figure out what... Maybe there isn't anything to solve. I don't know. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. So what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided, wrote me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What... Uh, we actually do is sending each other pages and their beepers, but we're poorer than them because guess what? Right. And then there's a motorcycle with two cats riding. So, so it looks like they they uh, they seem to be getting along. I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Oh, it's one of our teachers. One of our teachers. I thought she'd be good for a scholarship. This this definitely looks like a uh, a '90s teenage girl bedroom. <laughs> I'll I'll give it give them that. Oh, she got a referral. Well, she was wearing a t-shirt. Well, that's dumb. She got a, she got in trouble for wearing a t-shirt with Pap's blue ribbon beer on it. Oh yeah, there's another door over here, right? Let's see if there's anything in here. Got another letter? Oh, she's writing a book or a paper. No. Did they have a kitty? That's cool. Why is it in here? Why is it in the closet and not on the door? Huh? Alright. Yeah, is there something down here?
<laughs> so it looks like she she made that picture in the hallway. Really? That stuffed animal. Kurt Cobain. Yeah, so this is definitely like an indie punk kind of girl of the 90s. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school? Oh god, this is so old. It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom was supposed to cook dinner uh, for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. <laughs> so that is kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important today. <laughs> Toby, uh, Todd wants you to see, wants to see it again. That's hilarious. For those of you who haven't seen Pulp Fiction, I, you might not find that funny, but get stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. That's kind of funny. Alright, so this is the bathroom. Anything? She said, so she, our sister's gone for, at the moment. Um, at least. Oh, is that? Red, right hand. Oh, it's hair color. Whew. Scared Lonnie the Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. <laughs> She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Alright. <laughs> Condom. see any special movies in here which Cassidy all the president's men sound of music words to the bridge on the river Kwai, sounds of the lamb so those are pretty good movies I'll say they have good taste so I'm assuming I'm assuming th that... Alright, so the sister apparently left. And she said to s tell mom and dad, I'm sorry for the stuff that I took. Of course there's a... Alright, hold on. I gotta just kinda... Put that... In there. There we go. Um, and then... Uh... Postcard. Um, so apparently, so it looks like she went through that drawer. That's really the only instance I've seen so far where it seems like she, uh. Walt Whitman. Cool. Where she actually, like, went in and took something. At least as far as I can tell. So, I mean. Anything in here? What was that? Question mark? Whoa! Whoa! So there are secret passageways. 
No way. Alright, I'm a little... I'm just gonna hold off on that for a minute. See if there's anything else to look at before we... Uh... Wow, this is a big bathroom. Holy crap. After the honeymoon. That's... okay. Is there a light in here? There we go. Anything interesting? No? Alright, so before we go through the secret passageway, <laughs> let's uh... Let's see if there's something else. Oh, there's a note. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such a short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> so it looks like she's Sam's been staying up late. So all right, so apparently Lonnie was in the military. That the girl she we're talking about. And Apparently I was in the military. That's what I'm getting from this. Just turning on all of the lights. I, I have a feeling listening to those uh, cassette tapes would be really cool. It is not meant to be Oh, oh, what? That's, that was creepy. Did not expect that to happen. Alright. Uh, holy crap, I was in the library and noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage. Wait, in the library? And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. I have to go see this. We're skipping sixth. So, oh, all right. So we have a map now. So this is the sewing room, right? And. Oh, so, oh, so that closet, okay, so apparently that closet leads to the library, oh, alright, well, that's pretty cool, um, alright, so, go in the secret passage then try and figure out what's going on oh wait what's up here Sam's dark room do not enter right red red lights are on the red lights are on can I go up there of course it's locked all right so let's go back to mom and dad's room and we will check out what's in this secret passageway. It's kind of creepy and makes you wonder if the parents knew it was there. And if they used it for something. Oh, this is so creepy. Why are there posters all over the walls? They found three hidden compartments. S 
so I'm a little confused. So all right, so we know there's something in the library. Why don't we just continue down the hall and then we can yeah, I think that got added to our inventory, right? Or did it not? Can I take this? So, alright. So there, apparently there's something in the hallway across from Sam, Sam's room. And there's something... I think... I think that's the first floor down on the bottom there. So we'll explore. It's so dark. Oh, that's creepy. you know and there's dad's secret magazine <laughs> so was there something over here so oh okay so that got marked on our map all right so there's something in across from Sam's room in the hall. And there's apparently That's weird. There's something Alright, so why don't we go back upstairs? At least that wasn't like a secret dungeon or something. do you want? To open. Oh, that was half of... Okay. So... Oh, so there is there something in Alright, so let's go do that. Let's go back down to the office and see if there actually is something there. So it looks like the X is pointing over here. Oh right there. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. 
I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Oh, okay, so she's basically starting to like have feelings for her, I guess. Alright, I gotta go turn that TV off. It's creeping me out. To stay indoors and secure all windows and doors. Alright, so apparently there's there's another X. That's Dad's office. Alright, so there's something in one of the oh, there we go. Alright, so Do not read. Alright, so if you guys want to read this, um, feel free to pause the video here. And then the last page. Alright. Alright, so it looks like... Zero fifty one. First number to the right. Three times stop. Turn left. All right. So let's go back up to uh, Sam's room. Be nice if we can move a little slow, a little faster. But I get it. I get it. So zero fifty one. There we go. Cigarettes, hey. Uh, not supposed to be doing that. Oh, all right. Well, that's kind of like a porn mag, but not really. So it definitely looks like she's into girls. Lonnie came over today, but everything was. Different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so this seems like a happy story so far. Why is why is this whole game seem so dark and gloomy? It's what I want to know. <laughs> Chips. There was nothing wrong. Well, if there's nothing wrong, then why am I running around trying to solve what seems like a mystery? She took the same exact... That's funny. So we had saw Sam's test in the trash earlier. And this is like literally the exact same test. But only it was when Caitlyn took it and she got like an A plus or whatever. Oh, and she had her own thing as well. Like, every wall I look at, I'm like, is that a secret passage? Is that a secret passage? Oh, we're in, like, the boiler room. This doesn't seem cool. Oh, 
so it looks like Sam got into a college. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Again, feel free to read this if you guys so choose. I'm just trying to get an idea. So it looks like her father was a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. Which is not necessarily a bad thing considering the, like, buzz around JFK. But it seems to be all we're really hearing about him. So I don't know. Wow. Basement is just full of stuff. Hey, another postcard. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though? I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Huh. <laughs> That's great. So that letter was apparently like Sam talking about the first time she did something with Lonnie. And I think, uh, if I'm, yeah, it won't let you, like, read it. <laughs> That's funny. Anything there? Uh... Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. So it doesn't seem like this seems like a dead end here. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, there's something. Alright, so I think there was another way over here, maybe? see that other There's 
Isn't there another passage somewhere? I could have swore there was. Is this just the dead end? Alright, um, so why don't we... I guess we'll go back? I, I know there's probably more to the house, but... So this is the basement. Oh, you know what? There was that door uh, to the right of the staircase. Like on the other... Yeah, that door straight ahead down there. So let's see if there's something... Something in there... It's worth, uh, or assuming it's unlocked. It was locked before. Oh, it's still locked? Alright, let's think about this. So. Alright, so. I mean, it seems like we found all the X's. I, th I could have swore I saw... Alright, let's go back down and check in the basement. Um, because I swear I saw, like, another door or something. But I think I just kind of got lost when I was turning myself around in, uh in that, like, dark room at the end. So let's go check one more time. Make sure we look in every which way. So the boiler room's there. There's nothing there. Is there really nothing there? It's so dark. Alright, I'm just gonna turn the uh, brightness up real quick and see if there's anything in here. If there's not, I will, uh... Put it back. Uh, it just looks like a pile of wood, maybe. So there's a, a safe here. Maybe all that we need to do is figure out the combination to the safe. What was this? Hmm. All right. So I'm gonna look around a little bit, and uh, we will pick up uh, right here if I can figure this out so we will be right back
All right, so I realized when we were going, um, walking around, uh, I had picked up this postcard and it started, uh, like some dialogue, so I kind of got sidetracked. But if you come over here, there's actually a secret passageway behind this, uh, bookcase. So we're gonna follow, uh, looks like there's some stairs. See, uh, where this leads to. I always do prefer to go up rather than down, so this is good. Um, looks like another set of stairs, so, um, alright, just kind of a bunch of, looks like she, Sam lied to go to a concert, maybe, uh, alright, I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? about who she is. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Oh. Need a light. Anyone got a light? Need a light. I cannot see a thing. Yeah, that didn't really help. Oh, there we go. So, basically, it looks like the parents are a little, little bit, like, they kind of blame uh, Lonnie for some of Sam's actions. Oh, really quick. I saw stairs over here. So, if that way that we just went is the correct way to go, I want to know where these stairs lead to. Oh. Oh, there we go. Is this... Oh, this is the guest room. Is this on the top floor? Yeah, holy crap. Alright. Well, there's a bunch of secret passageways in this house. And they don't all just go down to the basement. Interesting. So we have nice, some nice shortcuts to get around. That's always helpful if we have to go back. Yeah, so it looks like uh, she went to a movie or a concert or something she wasn't supposed to. I'm just thinking, did I ever take my bag into the porch? <laughs> As it's like pouring outside? How many purses does mom have? I think that's like the fourth mom's purse I've, I've found. No, 
another referral. Inappropriate materials on school grounds. Out of school suspension for four days. Since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges, he spelled privileges wrong, and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school, and clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to take to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't happen again. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Yeah. You often see that happen. Anything good in the fridge? Well, the good news is I can just... Oh, the microwave on? Good news is I can just leave everything open and if my parents come home, they'll just blame my sister. <laughs> Although, it does seem... I don't know, like, how much of this was, like, Sam's fault for, like, you know, messing up the house and looking or taking things. I don't know. Maybe that'll become clear. And how much of it was just, oh, they just moved in kind of deal. So, um, oh, so there you go. They had just moved in and they hadn't finished, pa like, unpacking everything yet, apparently. Huh, she worked at a fast food restaurant. Uh, Lonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have, have the run of the whole house till you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sleeping up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musky allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Oh, God, that's funny. So, keep on looking around a little bit. Seems like this is just your typical kind of pantry, you can say. Alright, so we need to, I think there was a door down here. Here. Yeah. Let's see if this door is open or not. 
Oh. Okay. So. Um. Oh, can I take that? I'm gonna throw it in the trash. <laughs> um, let's see if, uh, well, alright, so we got a better picture of the house. Um, let's see, where haven't we gone yet? So, I feel like there could be more upstairs, but I don't know. So, alright, let's go back here. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Seems to be the father's like workstation. Okay. Oh, another map piece. So. All right. So the. Oh, okay, so that's the main staircase. So there's a secret... We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. Alright, please don't tell me she, like, killed herself. I really don't want to see that. Okay. Oh, well, that's a... Alright. Oh, God. 
What are they doing? Oh, got the key to the attic. There we go. The sunset light in this house oh. is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Oh, please don't be in the attic. Don't be a sad ending like that. That'll be terrible. Oh boy. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna go up to the attic. Hopefully she didn't do anything stupid. in the attic, and Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it, and it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't, she couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it, and so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam.
like based on a true story or something or if they just kind of wrote it up as they went along um it's definitely a pretty good story I mean I don't exactly relate to uh uh in teenager growing up in the 90s but um it's definitely uh an interesting story um and I did like how you could interact with a good majority of the things in, in the house. Um, hopefully the Fulbright Company will make more games um, like this in the future. So um, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the game. Um, leave a like if you uh, did indeed like it. Um, if you haven't already, of course, please subscribe. Um, but, you know, I think we are going to end this video here. Um, I'll be posting a ton of more stuff um, next week. Uh, we're currently doing some Grand Theft Auto stuff and uh, some more wrestling and other things. But uh, until then, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you real soon.